From the recording of the Gothic Arch, Arcostigma determines the most retro recording position which can be taken over by the operator as the centric position of the lower jaw. By recording the Gothic Arch, we find the centric position of the condyles which is obtained after recording the perimeter movements. With this, it is guided under physiological stress of the musculature prevailing through the anatomical structure of the TMJ. After starting the module, we have to choose a reference axis. As we will use the centric registration for mounting in the protar articulator, we choose the CAVO transfer system. Open, please. The bite fork with the lower sensory bow is brought into position and the measurement is carried out. Then the bite fork is removed and the sensory bow is placed on the para-occlusal spoon. Before we start measuring, we must put the registration plates into position. At first, the lower plate is inserted and with light pressure snapped into place. Then the upper registration plate is positioned. The support pin is set to a height so that free movement is possible in both the protrusive and laterotrusive directions without tooth contact. Now close and move the lower jaw forward and then back. Hold this position. From this position the movement recording is started. Move the jaw forward and then back. Now move the jaw to the right back to the middle. Once again forward and then back. Move the jaw to the left then back to the middle. The measurement is ended and I select the tip of the arrow as the position where I want to make the centric registration. To do this I restart the module and see on the monitor the actual position of the support pin as a green circle. If the center of this circle is on the desired centric position, the measurement is ended. This will fix the centric position electronically. Now a centric registration using registration material will be prepared. The material is spread over both sides of the lower dentition. Now. Please close and move the lower jaw slightly forward and then back. I restart the module and see the actual position of the support pin and the condyle as red crosses. These crosses should be at the center point of the green circles or the condyle position display. If this is not the case, I can correct the lower jaw position during this current procedure so that the previously determined centric position is recovered. Please remain in this position and don't move the lower jaw for the next one and a half minutes. After the registration material is hardened, the patient can open the mouth and the registrations are removed. The recordings of the Gothic arch and last recorded positions are stored for documentary purposes. With the help of this registration, the lower jaw model can be articulated exactly into the correct position.